day three here at Lee Hartung's, the disassembling of one of the most amazing museum collections in the world. It's kind of a quiet moment here. The guys are eating lunch. And in this area are some extremely rare and original motorcycles. The Pope, the FN, the Wagner, the Henderson, and of course the 12 Harley. And what we're gonna be doing uh, this afternoon, we've got uh, set up a small little outdoor backyard workshop. We're gonna roll the Henderson out first and we're gonna uh, do a few um, preliminary things to try to make this bike run. Uh, Jeff, let's get this thing rolled out, get it in our spot out there. See how uh, quickly we can make this run. Okay, this is our little homemade workshop. We have a few basic tools, some WD-40 and some Croil. While we were in the building, I checked it out. The engine turns over actually quite easily. So we're gonna do a, pre a few preliminary things. We're gonna pull the spark plugs and oil the cylinders down. Uh, Lube up the cables a little bit, put some gas in it, we think it'll run right away. Let's get to work, guys. I pulled the uh, cap, the oil cap, out of the bottom of the crankcase, and of course a Henderson motorcycle is actually a little car engine, four-cylinder inline, clutch, and three-speed transmission. Now, dipping my stick in the oil, if you look at that oil, it's crystal clear and clean. Turning over much easier now. Oh, we got spark. We got spark. <laughs> I was waiting for that. <laughs> well, we've done some of the basic procedures, and I believe the bike we should be ready to start. Just gonna give it a couple kicks. I got spray. Go ahead, Jeff. Whoa. another motorcycle run. I'm not sure what year this is. It's a, 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 a what's called a, a Henderson Deluxe. It looks like we've got it running. We've got all kinds of croil and some chemicals burning off the thing. But it looks like it's in really great shape. We went through all the gears, the clutch works, the brakes work. It's gonna make somebody a really great bike. Well, this Wagner motorcycle is probably one of the oldest motorcycles in America. 1901 wooden wheel. The bike is completely original. We took it off the table yesterday going to roll this thing out, get it in our little workshop, do a couple procedures, and hopefully the uh, Wagner starts. Paint on this motorcycle is absolutely extraordinary. This bike is 110 years old, but if you look at the pinstriping on the frame, the pinstriping on the fork, it's an original motorcycle. The engine turns when we rolled it out, we could feel the motor turning. It should be quite easy to start. And looking at the spark plug, you can see that's the original spark plug. Unbelievable. Original carburetor, original everything. Unfortunately, we're going to be unable to start the bike. If you'll notice, the tire right here is separated from the wooden rim. When this wheel spins to start the engine, this tire is going to give us some grease. So rather than just the, uh, having the joy of hearing this thing run for the first time in God knows how many years, we're not going to be able to start it. We're going to roll the bike over to the trailer, get it put in safekeeping until the sale. But what an incredible bike in original condition, uh, 1901 Wagner. Really, never seen anything quite like it. This is the bike that a lot of people have been trying to weasel out of uh, Lee for many, many years. It's a 1912 Harley Davidson, original condition. It's a battery model, single cylinder. Look at the paint and the lettering on this machine. Now, we're back here in the dark. We're going to roll this bike up to the front in just a little bit. Uh, it is absolutely complete. You can see it's a belt drive model. This is the original belt. It's in incredible condition. The motor number is 2709E. And of course, that makes it 1912. You know, I didn't introduce Margie early in our programming about Lee Hartung and his collection. I've known Margie for quite a few years and she's in charge of what we're doing here and dismantling the collection. End of the day, the crew is gone, the tent is up, there's about 40 cars inside. And with that, Margie, let's push this thing out of here.